previously in Cyberpunk 2077. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. N now? I was shopping. Okay. V, you're here. Hi. What is she doing here? I yeah. Prepared, breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. In my experience, Panzer is v? tank. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine will need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? This piece the 101. There and back. So we we'll on board with that. Are we ready? Why do you, am I suddenly sitting on a box? I am so glad no one can see me right now. And now to continue. Alright, I think I've pondered the universe long enough. Now, can I investigate this thing? Rude, I found the punch card, so now it won't even let me look at anything else. Other than just sit on a box, no thank you. There. Well, well, well. I got our card. Good job. Now what do we do with it? Well, V, the card in the reader. Where's the reader? Like, I know how punch cards work. Why am I scanning a file cabinet? Does anybody understand that? Oh, hey. Uh, I thought I saw something under the stairs. So you, okay. Goes nothing. Choo choo, bitches. Why do I have a message? Bart most collective? Again? Capitalism is a fish served cold. What? First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Whoever. Whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes the victim to capitalism. The best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. Corporate oppression will only end once you stop oppressing yourself. Wake up and wake up others. Join our collective. Seriously? Chainmail? You have nothing better you could be sending me. Johnny. Oh, hey, a train's moving. V, I wanted to speak with you. Okay. About what? What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because you're a friend. Because it's important to you. But is that all? I, sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right. Let's as funny you. as that would be, I don't think she'd appreciate it. Hold on, can we go upstairs? There's there's another level. And there might be more loot. Don't don't you? See? Loot. 
nothing really important, but every eddy counts when you're trying to get to be a millionaire. Oh, hold your horses! I'm coming! I don't understand why I'm coming so slowly, but hey! We all have our flaws. This apparently is one of mine. What? Soy paste. Ew. That sounds like really, really old soy sauce. Like, it's so old it turned to paste. Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. So when do we get to drive the tank? It is a tank again, right? Like, you haven't actually confirmed that for me. But you said it's a panzer unit. And a panzer usually means tank. Uh-oh. V, do you know where Pan Am is? Nope. No idea. Damn it, she's never in the camp when you need her. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure. I'm sure she'll be glad to hear it. Who am I kidding? She won't care one iota. A lot of times I really think my own sarcasm is lost on everyone but me. Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Uh, Everything's under control. What? Uh, Ozob Bozo. Got your number from a friend, heard you're good at what you do. If that's the God's honest truth, then I've got a gig for you. Call me when you're interested. What? Ozob Bozo. Boy is, already is he on. a clown or something? Hey. You worried about Saul? You know what? Let's ignore the phone. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Don't you? Ah. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Um... Let's have a toast. How to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Ah. Gotta love warm, weak old beer. Am I right? So what now? So you got any good war stories? Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. So I'm right! And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. So uh -huh. it is a tank! But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Oh, I'm hoping I'm gonna see different. <sighs> but first... I want to get good and sloshed. 
Oh. And maybe take a nap. I've been awake for like almost two days, guys. Can you let me know when it's time to move out? I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Uh. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? I don't see any stars at all. Yeah? You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Aha. 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 Astronomy jokes. Oh, it's so cringe. It's actually funny. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? What? Let's ride, V. Oh, that was not nearly enough time. There's a major pain in my ass. Okay. Tell me I get to... Good. I'm not driving. Oh. You know what? As long as you're behind the wheel, I'll let you regale me about the stars all you want. And yes, I remember that. Pretty sure it was only a couple hours ago. I seem to live on catnaps around here. Get her up to speed. Are we ch we're chasing the train? Oh. See, this is the part of the plan that nobody actually fully explained to me. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Yo. The It'll speed you up. Me, no coming in high. Take out that coupler. What? Okay, okay. V, shoot up the damn coupler. I'm trying, I'm trying. I see them. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Okay, take out the drones. Take out the drones. Shit, Fuck me. probably jammed again. Okay. Go, go, go. I got this. This is this is my area of expertise. Hurry up. Don't you worry. We're almost home now. Won't get rid of us that easily. Fire! We got it. Got him. Okay, just a couple more. Oh. Well, I suppose I don't want to take all the fun. I'll pick up the spoils while you guys have some enjoyment of your own. Alright, I got the guy in the back. What's wrong? Can't hit a moving target? I'm not the best at it, yeah. but I'm better than you. Shoot. Oh yeah. Go. All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Hold on, I'll be right there just picking up all the guns. Don't want to leave anything behind. It's all valuable. Okay, let's go. Ready all right. Go. 
That was awesome. And that's the basilisk. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Did we get two of them, or is it in two pieces? Because I feel like I'm seeing double right now. Well, you guys only mentioned oh, one. It worked! What? Of course it did! Just as I said it would! Aw, oh, it's cute that you had doubts, Mitch. I'm here. What could possibly go wrong? Going, On second baby? thought, don't answer that did question. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. Ah, so it is in multiple fun. parts. Just start with Mitch and Teddy. Oh, but look at it. Even in pieces, it's a thing of beauty. Now if only I could convince you guys to let me keep it. Imagine driving around Night City in a tank. Who would ever mess with me again? Okay, I just lost the Militech channel. The uh oh. Finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Right, a little too late. Silly corpos thinking they're all secure and safe. Seriously though, I really want to keep the tank. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. No one would ever give me any grief ever again if I was riding around Night City in a friggin' tank. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, look at it. That's the base. Or is that just... No, that's just one... That's one leg. It's so pretty. No, oh, I better go. I'm part of this chewing. I better be here. What you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. I mean, that wasn't a no. To unload. Sorry. Sure, but... Then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You'll call me when it's put together, right? That was pretty awesome. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything gonna be okay? Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. Listen, if you need anything else... You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Right. Okay. Well... That could have gone worse. That could have gone a lot better. So, now that it's over with, what do I want to do next? Um, I don't 
really have a lot of things to do in this area other than gigs. A couple cyber psycho attacks. But otherwise, I'm done in here. Meanwhile, in the middle of the city, oh boy. More than I care to admit to. Alright, I think this might be the best option for now. Let's, uh, no, 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 not that one. This one. Okay, is there a transit nearby? What's the closest one I can hop to? Well, there is an apartment down here that I kind of want to look at. 80,000. Oh, that's a little rich for my blood right now. Maybe I should go sell a few things. And there are vendors right here in camp. So... Yeah, let's go do a little bit of shopping while I'm here. Slow day. Doesn't seem like you get a lot of customers, huh? True, but I get by for my regulars. How's that? They buy a new iron every week? They bring them in for repair. The sand, it gets into every opening, every little crack. You gotta take them apart, air blast them every once in a while. If you don't, well, might eventually find yourself wishing you did. All right, well, let's see what you got. I want to see what you got in stock. Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. I don't know Isn't if you... that why you're back? I mean, partly. You're not entirely wrong. Um, although I am selling things first. As much as I hate to have to sell those, I really need the money. All right, let's see what else I've got that I can do without like these pants and shorts and the tank tops that I'll never ever wear these aren't really giving me much in the way of cash it's unfortunate uh, sold all of my consumables recently. I should probably keep some of them, though. And then I've got all these mods that I'm not using, because the guns I am currently addicted to don't need them. But that all might change. I don't know. Okay, and, and then I've got these. Also not very uh, valuable. Damn it. I really shouldn't be spending any money. However, oh my god, 42,000 for a grenade upgrade. Ha. Uh, or 14 for the blueprint. The blueprint is definitely better. But I need 80,000. Which means I'm not buying anything. Sorry. I guess I could go do some nearby jobs to get a little bit more money. I mean, are there are things like this that are all around. I mean, they're kind of everywhere. I could even test my luck with a cyber psycho, I guess. Okay, in that direction. Now... Where's my bike? Seriously, where, where's... Where's my bike? Oh, this can't be good. 
Hey guys, do you mind if I borrow a car? No, I can't borrow a car. I. My bike doesn't want to show up. It's acting like it's already here. But I don't see it. 700 meters, I am not running that far. Where is... Oh, it's on the other side of the camp, isn't it? Why do I got this... Yeah, feeling it's on the other side of the camp. Maybe. Pan Am, can I borrow your truck? I guess not. Damn it. They moved these already. And they're purdy. Hey there. Sometimes I think about staying here a while longer. But then a city dweller happens upon us, and I reconsider. Okay. Hey, Carol. Got some trouble with the signal range. Who knows? Maybe it's Dakota and her damn dream catcher. Sure, sure. Hi. Know why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. You know, you're really not all that wrong. Would you guys be upset if I... borrowed a truck? What the hell? Regina Cyber Psychos. Cyber Psycho out in the Bandlands, hanging around some truck full of cyberware. Go check it out. As far as I know, one's claimed responsibility for this mess. No one has. Although the wheels got Raffin written all over them, and it's on their turf. No sign of external violence, so the attack must have happened from inside. Either one of the Raffins cracked, or a prisoner of theirs tried to make a break for it. Either way, the fact that... It's eerily quiet, and not one soul seems to give a damn. Don't bode well. Keep your optics peeled. Sure. The hell is this? OA notification system. Take part in a clash of musical universes live on Earth. Only happens once every million years. Mr. Kipper and private press on set for 99.9 .9 Impulse. Sure. Sure. Can't wait. Is this a concert? Message will automatically generate it. Please do not reply. <laughs> what? Did I just get invited to a concert? And... Ah. <sighs> I can't borrow a vehicle from anybody. And nobody, uh, nobody's even got a simple explanation for me as to why it is I can't summon my bike. These quadras are nice, though. I wouldn't mind having one of those. But still, please, where's, where's my bike? Can I just... Oh, man. There's Pan Am's truck. Uh, as much as I hate driving, I'd prefer it to running. Help! Somebody give me a car. Why can't I summon my vehicle? <sighs> I guess I'm on foot. No other way about it. Um, did my brain just break, or did I fall through the planet? What?
just that I was too close to camp? Oh, come on! Okay, sure. Where is it? I... I still don't see my car anywhere. Oh, this is bad. No, you know what? No. I'm not doing this. I'm not running across the desert to go deal with some bloody cyber psycho. I'm gonna use the tram system Call a taxi or something. Uh, we'll just... Okay. Now, can I summon my car? My, there you are. What took you so long? All right. Now I can go across the desert and deal with this. Wow, going over there actually put me closer. Now, I don't want to get too close. Because, again, gotta keep the guy... I'm talking to you! Alive. Militech. Aldecaldo. Hey. What's Holy going on? Hey! I don't appreciate you firing at a, at a member of the Aldecaldos like that for no reason. You okay, man? Here, let me put the gun away. You alright? Hey, you shouldn't be out here by yourself. It's hot, dangerous. You could easily get, you know, shot at. Anyways, I'm saying you should probably head back to camp, or at least back to the motel. Or you can just sit there and keep cowering. Some Aldecaldo. Oh well. Get back to the business at hand, dealing with this cyber psycho. Haven't done one of these in a long time. Last time I did. Oops. So much for the cactus. Last time I did, it didn't go so well. I understand why Regina wants to try and rehabilitate these people, but. It does. V, I hear a war vet's barricaded himself at home. The neighbors heard shots. Figure out the sitch and keep me posted, okay? Sending details now. Okay. Details. Best put on some walking shoes, because getting to this house is a bit of a climb. Can't spy much from the bottom, but all the rockets got me thinking it's something big. How exactly is that details? You guys and your idea of what is important information or not is very confusing. Alright, so how am I getting in here? This compound looks closed off. Probably for good reason. Oh. Apparently they didn't 
Lock the door. Oh, they didn't need to lock the door. Right, okay. Now I need to stun this person. Oh. Um. Oh, I don't have short circuit attached. You know what? Let's do that real quick. If I can. Do I have short? I don't have short circuit. Oh, I do, but it's tier five. Oh, man. Okay, can I craft one really quick? Uh, cyber hacks. There we go. No, that's cyber worm malfunction. I want short circuit. There. Not ideal, but it's better than nothing. And I don't, and I don't have enough reboot optics. Yeah, I don't have enough uh, s uh, RAM for these. 24, 22, 28, 7. Yeah, definitely changing those out. There we go. Now, if only I could get a better ping. Can I craft a better ping? Do I have a blueprint for a better ping? I don't. I have everything except for ping. Weapon glitch, system collapse, system apps. Okay, sonic shock, short circuit, request backup. How much does that one cost? Four. That's not bad. Reboot optics, cripple movement would be good. Cyber psychosis I have. Cyber worm malfunction I think I've got. Detonate grenade, too much. Memory wipe, only 10. That might be useful. Let's craft that and see what we can get. Overheat, I enjoy. And contagion, I've already got. So there, now I've got a few options to swap in and out. Like, bait really isn't doing it for me. I like the idea of bait, and it works in some instances, but not when I really want it. So I'm thinking... Memory wipe. Short circuit. Cripple movement. Contagion. Contagion's fun. Cyborg malfunction. It's okay. If I was to swap anything for overheat. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I should just wait and upgrade my, my cyber deck. Alright. So now... I have short circuit. Which is an insta-kill for those drones. That's why I wanted it. Okay, can I ping something? Hey! I actually have options. What does this do? <laughs> Bye! Oh, okay. A little bit more. Now try it. Nice. Okay, once again, is there anything anywhere that I can ping? Yeah. I just want to know what I'm dealing with. Okay, I've got one person there. I think that's all that's left. So... Can I get the jump on him for some early damage? He's behind... Is he behind the garage or in the garage? Anything nearby I can... Try and get his attention with. I think he's in the garage. Which means this is going to be a little more challenging than I thought. P. 
Peter Green. Uh, shot with high caliber rounds, most likely from a turret. Oh, we've got turrets, do we? Okay. Gas pipe. So I should probably see if I could find a way to shot by high rounds, most likely. Natasha Green. Peter Green. Oh, no. Oh, was this their house? Who's the guy inside, then? Oh, man. See, this is the downside to this whole we should rehabilitate cyber psychos. Like, I get it. They're not entirely in control of their actions. But when they murder innocent civilians... I mean, it's one thing for a Maelstrom ganger to start losing his mind and kill a bunch of his buddies. I mean, they're all... bad. Just... just downright bad. There's no other way to describe them but bad. But when innocent civilians get caught in the crossfire, like, do they really deserve mercy? Sympathy? At that point? Because I kind of find it hard to have any. I'm not gonna sugarcoat things. I'm a killer. Absolutely. But I tend to stick to only killing other killers. People who deserve it. And these people, well... Did the Greens deserve it? Oh, graffiti detachable color. That looks kind of cool. Of all the times to be thinking about a wardrobe change, now is probably the worst. There's something else over here that I want to collect. They are very, very much in the garage. And I don't know how to get in there without alerting whoever's inside. Not to mention... Pulling this off without killing them. Alright. Shoot him in the legs. Reboot optics. Cripple movement. Do I have weapon glitch? I don't have weapon glitch. Just keep shooting him in the legs. Okay, cripple movement again. Damn it. Come on, dude. Go down already. Oh, so the greens were ripper docks. Oh, don't you dare be dead. Oh, thank God you're not dead. Engineer. Money. I knew this would happen. They did it. They finally got us while I was testing my Netrunner chair. One split second of distraction was all it took. Must have dialed it up too far. Short circuit the grid coils blew when the wife when the wife came to see what happened. All hell broke loose. I knew one day this would happen. Oh. So Peter Green was a ripper. And dude went psycho on him while... Yeah, th they're innocent people. Oh, man. But I can't really blame him either, because... Well, considering I've been in the chair plenty of times myself, 
I need new coils for the Netrunner chair that I bought from you a week ago. A certain corpo entered the net one night when suddenly tomorrow at midnight you will end. Uh, did not place any fave chain letter, blah, blah, blah. Why is there a giant light in the middle of my screen? It's not mine. So he got some faulty tech. They warned him it was faulty tech, but he needed it for the job anyways, so he installed it, and dude went psycho. Man. At least that's what I'm reading. Damn. It was just bad luck all around. I thought I got all the information I could gather. Was that not enough? Okay, now I'm really confused. Oh. Don't come. Don't come here, there's no point. Russell's completely lost it. It's not safe here. I'm trying to be understanding. I know what he's been through. I even scolded our son for being selfish and trying to escape. Now I know he was right. Getting it out is the only way. I can't even talk to Russell like a normal person anymore. Last week he laid new mines and forgot to tell me about them one step in the wrong direction and that would have been the end of me. This house is starting to look more like a prison, still at least in a prison, you know what to expect. But here... Oh. Well that paints a bit of a different picture. Okay. Best put some walking shoes, cause getting to this house is a bit of a climb. Can't spy much from the bottom. Oh, okay, I already read that. Got our guy knocked him, him out. Must have had a rough past, cause I've never seen anyone more paranoid about security. Tried coating his own ice, but all he did was cause a power outage. Family must have come by to check it, check it out, and that's when the defense system activated. No wonder he lost his stuff gonna be hard to set him straight again poor gonk was so afraid someone would zero him that he turned his house into a death trap too bad his family happened to walk into it went completely unhinged after what happened good thing you got to him first before he could off himself honestly There's a small part of me that wishes he had. But I understand what you're saying. Today's your lucky day, Bent and Jimbo. Russell. Your name's Russell. Right? Russell. You get to live. Although I don't know if you would consider that a blessing, considering what you've done.